This is not the first video I wanted to make on this channel, but it is way too important to talk about. Do you have a 3D printer? And is that printer connected to the internet? Because if it is, please turn it off right now or disconnect it at least. I forgot these. I Look, I'm not ready for this video, clearly. But I've just found out that if you have an AnyCubit printer, that printer may be compromised and it may have been hacked already via the internet. There's a tweet last night from Nero3D. Thank you, Nero3D, for tweeting this out. Uh, that goes like this. It says, well, this is a bit concerning. Looks like any cubic printers paired with their app have a pretty large security hole someone was able to exploit. Anyone know exactly which printer models were affected? And uh, this led me down a real rabbit hole. But it all started here. Post on Reddit from Mr. Underscore Overwrite three days ago saying a strange file. And as you can see, I believe on his AnyCubit Cobra, he has a G-code file called hackmachine-readme.gcode. And now this person was hacked, but thankfully this is all that happened compared to what could actually happen. Uh, there's an article from uh, TechCrunch a few days ago saying AnyCubit users that say their 3D printers were hacked to warn of a security flaw. AnyCubit customers are reporting that their 3D printers have been hacked and now display a message warning of an alleged security flaw in the company's systems. Now, when you open that G-code, it comes up with a message like so. Your machine has a critical vulnerability posing a significant threat to your security. Immediate action is strongly advised to prevent potential exploitation. Feel free to disconnect your printer from the internet if you don't want to get hacked by a bad actor. This is just a harmless message. You have not been harmed in any way. So as you can see, any cubic printers, when you want to send files over the internet, you obviously have to connect them to your own network. It turns out that network security is just... <laughs> Just not there by the sounds of it. Um, so this user and a lot of users have been sent this G code message. And when open the text editor, you can read the same message. And it might have been sent to approximately 293,000 different printers all receiving the same message. I mean, when I say if your printer is connected to the Internet, please disconnect it. This is actually huge because whilst they've received a harmless message to say your printer is, you know, is vulnerable this could literally lead to anything it's actually quite the pandora's box that's been opened with this lack of security for example if they could send a g-code maybe they could send a uh, an update to your anycubic printer such as a cobra and they could i don't know that update could uh turn off the thermal runway and then they could send another g-code to that printer that just says print in one spot and expunge plastic for for four hours at 400 degrees and then Literally everybody has a ticking firebomb sat in their print room or wherever they keep it. And that's just that's just surface level. Let's say they try and hack the printer to give it uh, ignore the thermal runway so it can set itself on fire. But what is this is doing is opening up literally any sort of hack. The printer could be start uh, giving out data about IP addresses and stuff like that. Just like it's just not something that you want to mess with. <laughs> this is why I'm saying if you have an any cubic printer disconnect it from the network completely if you have another printer that is a different brand that is connected to the internet either disconnect it or at least turn it off when you're not using it when it's not actually printing turn it off as i said like this is like such a pandora's box this is just one company that is being hacked for for multiple types of machines but it does make you wonder if other companies have security issues or security vulnerabilities that we don't know about just yet, which is a very, very scary thought. Obviously, I love the fact that I can send a print from my computer to my to my printer without move, getting my ass off a chair. However, that does pose quite a threat if that printer is vulnerable. Now, if you like that system and you want to be super secure, think about a, a disconnected, isolated wireless network just by buying like a cheap wireless router, turning it on, you can connect devices to it. The devices won't be connected to the internet, but they'll be connected to each other if they're on the same router. That's like a super simple fix. If you're really lazy, you've got a print farm, have an isolated network that isn't actually a network. It's a local network that isn't connected to the internet, which is one way to avoid being hacked. But if you're just at home and you've got a couple of printers in another room, just go and turn them off, okay? Bro, y'all think this is fake. Too funny. You should blame AnyCubic for their MQTT server, which has allowed any valid credential to connect and control your machine uh, via the MQTT API, which is essentially like the the machine to machine messaging service that the the printer uses to connect to the apps, to connect to internet, to receive the file. Basically, the way the the language that they're using, the service that they're using. Uh, aren't very secure, essentially. That's basically what he's saying there. Well, what can be done? Well, I could RM your whole printer, but I don't feel like wasting your prints or filament uh, you have spent real money on. I don't know what RM is. 
but I, I feel threatened. <laughs> it's also possible to put a startup script in the printer, but I have not done so. Let's just hope any Qubit fixes their MQTT server. Also, please, any Qubit, make the printer open source. Everyone would benefit from that. It would also increase sales, honestly. It's a great machine, but the software is lacking. So, like, you know what? Get your message across, right? Hack <laughs> nearly 300,000 printers and say, look at it, Qubit. Make it open source. <laughs> I love that. You can basically call me a printer god right now, but please disconnect your printer on the internet until any Qubit patches this issue. Thanks for understanding. By the way, 293,463.5 maybe? I don't know what the point 0.5 means. Is the amount of printers who has tried to receive this message, which means there's approximately almost 300,000 printers that have, like, are connected to this server that this hacker has been able to access. Now, thankfully, this is the hacker that found it because ultimately I would rather a print G code that says y you have not been harmed in any way. This is a harmless message. Any cubit, please sort it. Also, here's a cute snake. Okay. The potential from an open hack from a machine that's, that's vulnerable is actually, again, as I said, you just can't fathom just what someone could do with that. It is connected to your local network. There is no firewall. They are they are in, okay? And uh, that is very, very scary. The sad thing is, any cubic have noticed the Reddit thread that posted the um, the hacked message? And um, <laughs> they're not filling everyone with, with confidence, basically. Hi, sorry to hear this. We've reported this to our engineers. Can you help us diagnose the issue and share information, including any cubic app account name, CN code, your device log, and send your hacked GCO file with us if there is one at... Uh, here. Can Nipper says, no, I can't because I never created a user account, never installed the app, never connected the printer to my network, and I'll never do so. Besides, we had our resource for literally begging you to follow the GPL of the software you used to create Cobra OS and release the source as a potential security issues were just some of the reasons why we have to do so. This is, again, we want you to make it open source because um, there are issues that we know of and we want to fix them, but we can't because it's closed source. And then they just relieve with a which firmware to use. <laughs> which is... An unlucky guy who runs any Cubit Reddit account. You are not having a great day. Um, but the, the, what the Catnipper is referencing is that the people, the users of the machines actually knew this is a security issue. Over on printer.cfg, which is like an anonymous forum for Clipper at any Cubit Cobra 2 Plus Pro Max, Dump, the user Dump, said, Hi, we have attempted to communicate with any Cubit regarding two critical security vulnerabilities identified in particular, one that can be catastrophic if found by a malicious. Despite our efforts over the past two months, we have not received a single response to our three emails. These vulnerabilities are significant and we have invested considerable time and effort into addressing them. Despite our initial intention to resolve the issue amicably, and we still hope in it, it appears that our concerns have not been taken seriously by any cubic. Consequently, we are now preparing to disclose these vulnerabilities to the public along with our repo and our tools. So, from what I gather... Dump appears to be the one who did the original hack and has sent this message to actually raise awareness to any cubic that there are vulnerabilities they are not addressing and this is what could happen. Uh, which is, again, I, I'd rather it be user Dump who sends a little cute snake in a text code rather than someone who wants to set fire to my machine. So, as I said, I didn't want this to be my first video on the channel talking about hack and scandals, but... It is quite important to talk about. I personally don't own any 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 Cubic. That I've heard they make great machines, but those great machines do have security flaws. So again, if you have a machine connected to the Wi-Fi, just be wary of it. Consider connecting it to a local network if you want to leave them on all the time. A local isolated network, I should say. And uh, if you have an A Cubic machine in particular, I've been told that the app is already shut down for now. But I would just disconnect it from the network for a while until this until all this gets sorted. But there's been no official statement from any cubic up until this point about the hack. They are just plugging uh, offers, get some resin, get some PLA. Uh, fantastic week. So I hear save up to $340. Uh, it's a perfect time to get any cubic over max. <laughs> this is the day after the, the, hack, the scandal came out, as is this one seven minutes ago on the 1st of March. Uh, <laughs> it's a perfect time to get a Cobra 2. It's the perfect time to get a vulnerable printer into your house. I'm surprised they've not said anything. Surprisingly, no one's saying anything either. I'm surprised this isn't like filled in comments of like, hey, bro, why is this? Ha this is a hacked machine. This is a vulnerable machine. Actually crazy. So they've not said anything publicly on like Twitter or anything. I'll just check the website. And it appears they don't have like a blog or anything. I don't want to have to join a Facebook group or a Discord server to find out if my machine's been hacked. It should just be on their website. But there you go. That's that's it. Just just be careful. Be wary if you've got a machine connected to the network. Again, I love my networked printers, but if they're going to be vulnerable, then yikers. 
So, uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, turn off your printer, and I'll see you in 3D. With hopefully better 3D... I've, I've got... Look, I re-recorded my video because I've got a cool idea. It's going to come next week. Real video next week. Real first video. This is video point one. This is video test run. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching, and subscribe.